Azure DevOps boards using tags. So look, I use Azure DevOps boards all the time on my project. I use it to manage requirements, to track the progression of user stories, you know, from different states, to see and collaborate on user stories and so forth. And I found that using tags offer that flexible way of, you know, categorizing quickly items. I can then nicely visualize those user stories to on a board with different colors and so forth. I can use tags to filter items. I can use tags to search items and so forth, right? So in this video, let me show you how I use tags, my recommended approach, what tags I use, how to create them, how to manage them, how to make them the most useful to manage a product backlog productively. So let me first show you how to effectively use and create those tags. So effectively, if you go to your product backlog and, or your list of requirements and you open an item, you can very easily at the top just add a tag and it will recommend or suggest you the existing tags, but you can tap some new ones, right? So test for demo and then effectively it will create a tag or effectively to it will kind of, as you stop typing, it will show you the existing tag and you can kind of tag your, tag your items. So once you have your item tags, you can add them as well in columns. So effectively you can see here, I display the tag in a column to add a column to a, the backlog. You can have your column option and then add your tags in here. Um, another way as well, if you go to the board, you can effectively use your tags nicely in colored. I can also use tags to effectively color the whole card, right? So you can see here, I have my high risk in red to review in yellow, to showcase in green, the one we just created the test for demo. It doesn't have any coloring. So let me show you how to add some coloring. So you can go to your styles. So style, this is the styles of the card. So this one is the red one. So this is the one here. If you add a tag block, then it will show um, effectively that card in red and you can use our tag coloring, right? So we have the showcase in green to review in yellow, high risk in red. And then if I were to add the new one, we just created test for demo and let's do it in blue and save effectively. This will refresh the board and you can now see this test for demo in here. Another way of using tags is that you can use it in query to filter some of your items. So here I have all my work item listed, but I can add a cause and effectively go to tags and then add any tag I want. So contain it will show me the tags already I have, right? So if I want to see the one to review, effectively I'll have a nice lift or all the work items I, I have to review. I can then save that query and then even have that query and this results on a nice dashboard to review every day with my team, for example. Another filtering options, even on the board, right? You can filter your items by the tag. So again, if I filter the one to review, I can nicely see all the tag, all the items I want to review. Um, I can, of course, search here tags. So if I type to review, it will effectively search everything to review and you will see all the items to review. So very effective way to kind of quickly search through items using those tags. So what are the tags that I mostly use on my projects? So look, it depends really from project to project, but there are a set of tags that I use on almost all my projects, right? So let me show you which one I use. So the tags that I'll use mostly as the one to review. So I like to tag items when I will review items with my product owner or SME or BA, and I have a discussion to have about that user story or that feature. I like to tag a user story or feature to showcase when I have a showcase or prototype or a showcase of a demo or something. I want to show them effectively to validate the thinking. I like to tag user stories when they blocked so that it's clearly stated for the product owner or the SME that an action is required by them effectively and that user story is blocked. We cannot progress from, from the dev perspective. We cannot progress until that is unblocked. And then the finally, I like to tag high risk requirements. Again, just to bring awareness to my product owner and my team that we probably need to address that user story as a risk very quickly so that we avoid delays and so forth down the track of the project. Now, let me give you a bonus tip here. So effectively in Azure DevOps boards, you cannot really delete tags uh, easily. So effectively there is a tool that you can download. So you download that tool and you can install it. And then when you install that tool, you can see here that you can effectively 
um, see the tags, rename them, delete them, kind of manage them, right? So how to download that tool? So if you go to the official documentation about how to tag work items, so that's the official learn documentation. At the end, you have what we call marketplace extensions, like a link. And if you click on that, you will get uh, taken to the tag manager extension, and then you can install it for free. And that gives you effectively that little tag manager when you can manage your tags. Voila, I hope that you liked this video. And if that's the case, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me know if you like this video and if I should do more content about Azure DevOps boards.